Good morning. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Casillas, and I'm with the USAR Service Rifle Team. Uh, today we're going to have a class on putting together the webs, the uh, leather sling, uh, as well as uh, a little bit about the gear and some of the positions that you're going to use when you shoot the national match course here at Camp Perry for the first time. Uh, gentlemen, I would like to call your attention first uh, to the rifle. We use the national match AR-15 or M16 or M15A2, but of course we always want to remember safety first. We have our empty chamber indicator in and the weapon is unsafe. At all times when we do training, the first thing we do is check to ensure that we have a safe weapon. And how do we do that? By physically inspecting the chamber that there's nothing in the chamber. That there's no magazine in the rifle and that the weapon is unsafe when we begin our instruction. Our first class will be on the leather sling that is attached to the rifle. Now, there are many different ways to use this leather sling. I will share with you what I use uh, and others that come along may show you a different way, but I can only show you what works for me. Uh, your configuration may be slightly different um, and may do uh, some things for you that mine does not for me. So we'll begin by removing the sling from the rifle. I am a left-hander, so mine will be slightly different than yours, a mirror image. And basically what we have, we have two pieces to the sling. We have the short piece, which I believe is known as a tail piece. And then we have the long portion of the sling, which has the, uh, uh, we'll add the, the short piece onto the long piece. So looking at the sling, at the bottom should be the short piece of the sling with the frog. And on the top, you should end up with a loop uh, that you'll put through the upper receiver. Okay, the way I do mine, and I'll unfold it for you, is in order to get it on and off the rifle quickly, I have both of the keepers on the long piece. Can everybody see this configuration okay? So you want to begin with the short piece. And the holes are facing out. Let's take a look at how your sling came from the manufacturer. Okay, where's your frog? Let's see your, your frog on the... Okay, it's on the other side. Mine is reversed from yours, but I'm left-handed. Okay. <clears throat> With the holes, the holes should be out. Now on mine, you see I have straight holes after I fold in through here, but it's because I'm left-handed, so it may be different than yours. Okay, okay. Where's your second keeper at? I got it right here. Okay, you want to put your second okay. keeper through here. Your second keeper should be through uh, the piece that doesn't have the frog on it. So the tail of the of the long assembly. Now as you get them, the keepers are going to be a little stiff. Okay, so everybody should have a tail piece hanging down, the sling should loop up, and then both keepers should be on the long piece. Does everybody, anybody have anything different than that? And the short piece always goes in the rear of the rifle. Okay, now I'm going to attach this to the rifle. As the rifle's standing up facing us, I'll place the short piece of the sling through there and I'm going to hook into the first set of holes. And I'm just going to let it catch as it is. Now the reason we do this is there was a time when there was a requirement for you to be hooked up to both sides of the rifle. The front sling swivel and the rear uh, sling swivel. But you go on the, on the very first set of holes of itself. Let me show, uh, here, let it come through and then go to itself. 
Okay, you're gonna have to work with it a little bit. You couldn't go to, you, sometimes you can use the second set, but I can assure you in time, you're gonna want it to, no, no, here, come on through, and then, there you go. Let's see if you have it right, okay. Is it, no, no, here, come on out of there. Here, just come on through and go on itself. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, but you, you may wanna go the other way, so it's coming out that way, but. Yep, come on out of there. Let's do this one. No, no, yeah, just come out and it goes on itself. Oh, it goes on itself. Oh, it goes on itself. The reason we're not hooking on the other way is because we're not using it to carry the rifle around. This is just to keep you attached to the rear. Now, it may not be a requirement anymore, but I found that by doing this and having yourself attached to two points, your rifle won't be dangling around or get away from you. So, so now I have that attached. Okay, okay. <clears throat> let's talk about these slings. You can use saddle slope, soap to, uh, to uh, work them and make them a little softer and a little more pliable. Like I say, these are brand new slings, so you're going to have to play with them for a little while. You could roll them up and unroll them a whole bunch of times. Uh, the purpose of the saddle soap is just to soften the leather. Keep in mind though, when these slings get wet, they turn into rubber bands and they'll stretch out quite a bit. You don't want to have your slings stretching on you uh, when you're in a rapid string and you have your, your holes identified. But we're going to get into that in a little bit. Okay, let's see. It goes on itself. Here. Yeah, but. Here, let's turn it around. There we go. Okay. There we go. And, if, and, and some, the new ones may not go right away. See? There we go. We're in. Okay, yeah, but, uh, this side, well, I'm, I'm going I'm to show everybody that when I get into my sling. Okay, what I want to teach first is to get everybody used to how to get the keepers, the frog set on the bottom piece. Uh, so when we originally begin to use these slings, you want to get in the habit. And remember, consistency is the, what this game is all about. This sport requires consistency so that all of your shots end up in the same place. And by doing all of the... Um, tasks with your equipment the same way, you'll develop that consistency. Okay, now we all have the bottom attached. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the top. So what you should have next is the long piece with the keeper on it by itself. Okay? All right. You're right. We're going to, we'll, get in, we'll just have to flip it around if need be. Okay, so the keeper will be just on the long piece. The bottom piece will have the keeper near the swivel. Do we all see that? Okay, you should already have it that way from the manufacturer. You're good, you're good. Okay, now we'll take the top piece, feed it through the top sling swivel, and then bring that keeper up. Everybody should be like this now. Slide that through the keeper. There you go. So all you should have left is a tail and a frog. Okay. And there's going to be some adjustment required because we all do not have the same length arms. There. Okay. Okay. This, this should be facing this way, should Wait, it not? no, it should not. No? Okay. And I'll show everybody why. Okay, so what I'm doing here is we're taking the excess through there. So you're hooked up on both ends now. The only difference is you have a frog in one hand and you have a tail hanging out of the other. That is where your adjustment will take place because it's going to be a different sling setting between your standing position, your sitting position, and your, uh, your prone positions. And the quickest way to do that is to just make that adjustment with the frog and the tail piece and then keep everything else pretty much consistent. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, we may be a little backwards, but we'll get to that. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, you're through here. Okay, and take a little, bring it up a little, keep working it through. Okay, 
All right. So this is what we have so far. Everybody has a bottom piece that's pretty flexible, tied to itself. They have a long piece that circles through the this little uh, the metal keeper here. The two leather comes through the two leather keepers comes around the top. And so what we have is a tail piece and a frog. Does everybody have that? In one fashion or another. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and get out my mat. And I'm going to dress up. Okay, this, the sling is first used in the sitting position at 200 yards. For me, because my arms are short, I count six holes from the bottom and I attach my frogs into hole number six. Okay, for you all, it'll be a little bit different. But for me, it's about six holes. Now, how am I going to use this? What's left on the bottom is where I'm going to place my arm. So you slide your bottom sling uh, keeper up, the one on the bottom, once you're hooked, hooked onto those six holes, six holes from the bottom. And again, it's going to be different for everybody, but we'll start with six holes to itself. There you go. Okay, coming up six holes. I'm going to slide. If you're, if you're left-handed, you slide half out to the right. I'm going to raise the bottom one up to make a nice big loop. That is where my arm's going to go through. And then, after I do that, I'm going to keep the sling to the outside of my bicep. And I want it up as high as possible. The reason I want to do that is because if we end up on the vein, whether we're wearing a coat or not, doesn't matter, but there's a vein that runs up the back of your arm. If I go ahead and put that sling on that vein and then clamp it down, I'm basically putting a tourniquet on my arm and I'll st stop the blood and the pulse rate will be unbelievable. You won't even be able to hold the rifle steady while you're sitting if that pulse rate gets up high enough. So I'll go ahead and I'll, sw I'll move that to the outside of the arm, add tension, of course I'll have my coat on, and then what's left over on that tail, I'm going to roll that up. And I'm going to stick that as tight as I can close to the keeper and then slide the top one down to lock it in place. So now I'm locked in. It's not going anywhere. I have, I have the loop around the arm. I have this loose so it's not binding the rifle. The frog's to the outside. I've rolled up the excess and I've pulled the top one down. That frees me up. So that when I'm in position, I just have to bring my hand in, place it in my shoulder, and then get into position. The trick of using the sling is to provide adequate support for the rifle in any of the positions that you're in. So naturally, you could either sit or lay in place and then have the rifle in position so you're naturally looking through the sight. What are your questions on the sling? Okay, we'll go through it with each individual so we have the slings right and I'll give, you have a chance for you to sit down and take a look at your position just to see first that you get the sling right. Now to come out of the sling, because when they tell you to get out of position you certainly don't want to be wrestling with this. So when I get out of position I just pull the keeper up, I grab this tail, pull it and it opens up the sling. So now I can take it off quickly. Because when you get out of position, you need to move rather quickly. Upon doing that, 
ECI will go in, the weapon will be on safe, and then I'll place it in my in my cart. But my cart will actually be another way. I'm going to go through that in a minute. So let's take a look at your slings, and I'll let you have you put them on and try them out and see if they work. If they don't work, we'll make the adjustments here. It's a lot easier than making the adjustments when we're downrange.